In this video, I will be showing you how to determine the Ka or dissociation constant of a weak acid if the pH of the acid is given. Formic acid formula is HCOOH or HCHO2 is a weak monoprotic acid. Calculate Ka for formic acid at 25 degrees Celsius if the pH of the solution is 2.38. The initial concentration of formic acid is 0 0.100. This is how we can solve this problem. First, we will write the dissociation of formic acid. And this shows that formic acid is a monoprotic acid producing one mole of hydrogen ions for every mole of formic acid that undergoes dissociation. And the concentration of the formate ion, which is HCHO2 minus, is the same as the concentration of the hydrogen ions that are formed. These are some of the assumptions that we can make before we solve the problem. Formic acid being a weak acid, the concentration of hydrogen ions is not the same as the concentration of the acid. The concentration of the hydrogen ions can be calculated from the pH of the acid which is given to us. Once you know the molarity of the hydrogen ions and the initial concentration, we will be able to calculate the number of moles of dissociated and undissociated reactants and products. With this information, we will be able to calculate the dissociation constant Ka for formic acid. That is our intent. So the first thing we will do is determine the hydrogen ion concentration from the pH using the following relationship. We will calculate the hydrogen ion concentration using the following equation. H positive ions is equal to 10 to the power of negative pH. Now here we will substitute the value of pH with the number that's provided to us, which is H positive is 10 to the power of negative 2.38, which is equal to 4.16 into 10 to the power of negative 3 moles per liter, or 0 0.00416 moles per liter of hydrogen ions are produced. When 0.1 mole of formic acid is dissolved in water, that's what we get from this. Now using this information, I'm going to set up an ice table so that I will have the initial concentration, change in concentration, and equilibrium concentration. The initial concentration of formic acid is 0 0.100 moles per liter. All the concentration terms in this ice table represents moles per liter. Now initially we assume that there is no hydrogen ion concentration or the acetate uh, formate ion concentration. With time, the acid dissociates and produces hydrogen ions and formate ions. When that happens, the change in concentration will increase the concentration of hydrogen ions which we calculated using the pH. And the number is 4.16 into 10 to the power of negative 3. So we're going to write the change in concentration which means the number of moles of formic acid that has undergone ionization is equals to 4.16 into 10 to the power of negative 3 and we're going to use that number in the, to indicate the change in concentration. So what this means is from 0.1 mole of formic acid, 0 0.00416 moles has dissociated. That is why a negative sign is the sign there, showing a decrease in concentration. At the same time, there is an increase in concentration of hydrogen ions, therefore positive 0 0.00416 beneath the hydrogen ion concentration and the same number beneath the concentration of formate ion CHO2 minus. 
So if you have the initial concentration, and if you know the number of moles of hydrogen ions that have formed, you can find out how many moles of undissociated formic acid is present, which we represent by the next line, equilibrium concentration, or if you subtract 0 0.0016 from 0 0.1 moles, you will get that. So using these numbers, we can calculate the Ka from the expression Ka is equals to H positive into CHO2 negative divided by HCHO2. The equilibrium concentration numbers are plugged in here. When we get this equation, and if you mathematically solve it using your calculator, the value for Ka is going to be 1.8 into 10 to the power of negative 4. So that's how you can calculate the dissociation constant of a weak acid if the pH of the acid is provided. That's it for now. If you like the video, please don't hesitate to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day.